Hey guys, I've been asked by a few people about the difference between format table and format list when you're piping information through to those commandlets and I just wanted to do a very quick video to kind of outline how those differ because it can be a bit confusing. Um, the simple difference is, is really in the way that I use them is format list is very useful for looping through lots of objects um, from a sort of for each loop that you might want to um, sort of show data in a more of a, a list view and, and manipulate that data. Format table is much more useful for just producing things into tabular form. Um, but, but so, but probably a couple of examples would help. If I start with the absolute basics, though, let's take uh, a get process as a as a commandlet and just show you the difference between what format list and format table does. So if I pipe that through to format list. You can see that I get lots of objects appearing here with some key properties. Um, an awful lot of objects. I don't think I even want to scroll through. Let's compare that to get process format table. And I might start going with the aliases. I, I am careful not to do this. Um, and Don Jones, the PowerShell guru and MVP, uh, it always points out it's sometimes better not to use aliases because it reduces ambiguity and I do agree with that but I'm in this case I, I might start to do that just to show you how you can do that but format table as you see is just putting everything into a, a tabular form so I have columns instead of a, a list of items but they've each got their own special properties and format table in particular is extremely useful for this so if I do get process one more time Let's see how we can start to work with that data. And I'm going to use the alias FT, format table. Now, bear in mind we have these columns of information here. Well, what I can do is I can actually select specific properties for these. So I can say, right, I would like to have process name as the first item, the ID, and what I'm going to put handles. Now, when I run that, I get this customized view. We can kind of take things a little bit further. You can also um, add additional parameters such as auto size. And I guess I don't really need it on this particular occasion, but uh, auto size ensures that the columns are automatically widened if necessary to fit all of the text in there. Another thing that you can do is you can group all of these items. So if I do process name is the property I want to group by, it chops that table up into lots of separate tables. So now you can see that instead of one long table, everything is being chopped up into lots of little ones. All of my FV chast, sorry, SVC chat host, service host uh, items are now grouped up into one little chunk together. And I'll cut all of this away just so it doesn't get too cluttered. But uh, one thing that I can do is also very basic things like hide table headers. You might not need the headers in there. It might be that you are going to pipe this to a spreadsheet and you do not want to have the headers in there. So at a very basic level, that's that's all it is. That's uh, pretty much all that you need to, to worry about. And this feeds much more into the reporting side of things, which I will do some videos that go into much more detail, detail uh, in terms of reporting and, and you will see more of where format list and format table comes into that.